a dynamic IT professional with a diverse range of skill set. Meet Ajay Pharma Jobe, a truly wonderful person who has led Women Tech Makers Chapter Banjul for four years, empowering women and girls in general through resources, mentorship, and visibility. Currently, Ajay serves as an IT assistant at World Bank Gambia Country Office, and today they will be talking about thriving on two fronts: manage how to manage your full-time job and passion for volunteering. Over to you, Ajay. Hi, my name is Ajay Farmer Joe. Welcome to the session, which is diving on two fronts and how to manage your full-time job and a person for volunteering. So uh, most of this is based on my own personal experience as what I do at uh, my day job, but also what I do outside my work environment, which is running tech communities, but also organizing events, more like bringing people together. So it's such an um, honor to be here and let's dive right in. So first of all, I would like to introduce myself, but I mean, um, you know, have we ever attended a local meetup? I'm very so most of us did. Um, example can be this Bicon ladies. It's not, um, it's an international because I'm from the Gambia. You might be from the US or Asia and we are here connected by Bicon ladies. And um, chances are most of them um, are doing this on voluntary efforts. And example is PyCon ladies. Um, I know most of some of the organizers have their full time job, but they find time to organize these things so that we can come here to share experiences and knowledge. So my name is Aji Farmer Job. I am based in the Gambia, and I was born and raised and went to school here. And I did a little bit of traveling. Um, this is the first time I went. Post, yeah, 2024, I was able to travel to other continents. Um, so I work as an IT consultant at the World Bank Gambia here. And also um, part of what I do outside my work environment is I run um, projects. One of them is Women Tech Makers Banjo, which is for the past four years I've been doing since 2020. I think starting 2021, three, four years. Um Women Tech Makers Banjo is a community where we create visibility, mentorship, and resources to women and girls in the Gambia, uh, more like in the Greater Banjo area, which is the biggest or the capital city in my country. And I am a certified Microsoft um, Azo AI trainer um, for Smart Africa Digital Academy, but also I train um, young people in the Gambia to boot camps, but also trainings um, um, invited um, on AI literacy, which I've been doing this past year. I also have a newsletter called Tech Feminine, which is on LinkedIn newspaper, um, which is on a uh, LinkedIn newsletter, where um, I share um, articles on emerging technology, but from a female perspective. So I'm um, it's amazing that I'm here and I want to talk about the dual role, um, which is why we are here. Is it possible? Yes, it is super possible. For me, this is how I see it in two different aspects. Um, one is the work I need and the work I love. I, I love my I love my day job. I am an IT assistant at the World Bank, and I love um, solving people's problems, supporting diverse team, and I contribute to high level missions and events. But also, um, some of the skills leveraged there is my tech expertise, the communications, and also it's the adaptability. The work I love is my advocacy through Women Tech Makers Banjo, the newsletter Tech Feminine. Um, training of young people in AI and I organize tech events like DevFest and in the bus. So DevFest Banjo is the biggest event in the Gambia I organize with other people. And in the bus also is an AI, um, it's a deep learning group, which also we have a chapter in the Gambia that I've been doing for the past one year. And the skills nurtured is my leadership role, creativity, commitment, and community engagement, which I get to bring a lot of people in the Gambia. So that's how I, I do this dual role, um, IT assistant by day and tech community by any other <laughs> night or weekends. <laughs> so some of the challenges um, I have or some of the challenges I experience 
um, doing two things at the same time or trying to juggle two roles is time constrained, which is it's very demanding. Um, running tech communities is demanding because you're dealing with people and you have to ask answer a lot of their questions. Sometimes you have to mentor people, which I do. And also because we organize events, there is a lot of tags getting the venue, reaching out to sponsors, um, um, creating that visibility on social media. These are demanding job, but also I have a day job, which is also demanding. And resource limitation, which is um, balancing financial. Um, I only get result, um, income from my day job, the voluntary work, we don't get paid. We do it free. And yeah, it's emotional because you try to do a lot of things while you only have 24 hours like any other person. And the physical energy also, sometimes you have to go to and fro, sometimes you meet sponsors, you meet vendors. Um, also my day work sometimes involves going to different places, supporting people during their events or when we have high level missions. The bond and rigs, it's one of the things I still encounter, which is overcoming to both fronts um, can lead to fatigue because you're trying to, to achieve all of that. Make so my day work, um, I complete all the tasks, so I'm up to date of all the work I should be doing. But also these projects are time sensitive and also you have to execute them within the time frame. The external perceptions is misconception about being equally committed to both. I've seen situations where sometimes you volunteer outside, um, your work environment is not supportive of that. They take, they feel like you are taking um, time of their work and you're doing something outside. And um, sometimes vice versa, but it's always the 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 one where you get paid complaints are a lot. So these are the challenges I get to face. <clears throat> so some of the strategies I believe works for me, and I hope it works for other people. But I believe in finding a niche or finding what works for you. Um, we all have the best thing given to us this time and 24 hours in a day. So for me, is PTB is my go-to era, which is I prioritize and time management and boundary setting. Prioritize in a sense that I leverage on tax-based tools where I prioritize what I need to do and what is time sensitive and needs my urgent attention. So through prioritize and I'm able to complete tasks that needs urgent attention attention or that needs to be finished quickly, both um, at my work level, but also through the communities I run or through the voluntary um, services I do. Time management is really important when it comes to doing two things or juggling two roles or dual roles. Um, time management in a sense that most of this, um, your work, your day job um, requires time management because there are specific time you should be there and there are specific tax you should be completed within a time frame the same with volunteers so it's important to manage your time sometimes I, I even have to don't take breaks at work so that I can complete some of these tasks I do outside work and it can be really challenging or oh, sometimes it leads to burnout, which I mentioned in my previous slide boundary setting is important where you um what you um boundary setting in a sense where you need to know um, where you can say no, specifically when it comes to volunteering work, even your day job too. You need to set a limit where if it reaches here, you need to say no or you need to take time out or you just need to take a break. Set a boundary to take breaks or to just say no or okay, I can't participate in this thing because most of the time when they know you do this voluntary job, some other organizations do reach out to me that I want you to assist in this event and stuff like that. So it's important to set a boundary. So aligning work and person, this is also an important aspect. For me, it has helped me bridge these two fronts, which is using my tech expertise from the World Bank to inspire and mentor young women, but also through my newsletter, I'm able to share my expertise or what's going on in this imagined um, era, which is imagined technologies like AI to this newsletter. So that's how I'm bridging these two fronts, but also I'm able to skills learn from tech advocates to optimize my work ever since. Um, tech community manager helps you to be, um, to communicate well because it's also a different set of people, but also some, some of them are not expertise. So you have to communicate in a way they understand. It has helped me better my communication skills and that this I leverage in my work environment. So building synergy also, I think I have a really supportive um, 
workplace that pushes me, that congratulates me when I do this outside my work, because this is also something they really resonate with, which is digital inclusion and connecting marginalized community as part of the World Bank Digital Development Goals. Celebrate small wins. Never forget to celebrate your wins, no matter how small it is. Um, for me, my highlights this year, I got um, nominated for the Women in STEM Award um, in the Gambia, which is organized by C Award. And it was really amazing. And I really feel um, honored to be recognized of the work I do. And also um, getting to host biggest event where I get to bring the brightest and the youngest people in the Gambia in one room and people get to connect and share experience. I think for me, that's a win for me. And also nurturing a growing audience. At the moment, Tech Feminine Newsletter has 3,000 subscribers. So it's a win for me. <laughs> um, some of the lessons learned um, doing these juggling two roles is the self-awareness, understanding that I am a human being and I have 24 hours like anybody else, but also to prioritization, I'm able to complete and achieve tasks as need be. So I have leveraged this, um, delegating tasks, especially both at work and my advocacy. Perseverance is staying committed even when the journey feels overwhelming. This is something I keep encouraging people. Always ask yourself, what do you, why do you do what you do? I mean, if the question you can still answer, I mean, every day or every event at the end of the day, that thank you message or, oh, thank you, Aji Farma, you know, I was able to get this internship. I was able to meet my mentor. I was able to meet my friend through the events I organize or through these community managers. I think that keeps me going and that make me stay committed to what I do. Inspiring others. I believe whatever you do, inspire others to do the same thing. They can, um, because what we do, we don't get paid for it. The fact that I organize events and some people get inspired to want to volunteer or also start their own thing or just contribute like we are doing, it's something I really hold to my heart. So the ripple effect, it happened. The ripple effect overall, it's when you help others strive, um, their friends create a stronger community. And this is something I've experienced personally through growth, both career-wise, but also personally, but also have seen other people grow through the events or organ, um, communities we, we manage. Finally, um, finding fulfillment and making a meaningful impact in work or volunteering. I feel like balancing two fronts isn't about perfection. It's about persistence and purpose. Always have a purpose of what, you, why you're doing what you're doing. That's why we have seen people who, who are not consistent or who are lacking when it comes to volunteering, because you need to have a purpose why you're doing it. Um, do you find that, do you find that calm or do you feel happy when you help people? Because all the volunteer, it's, it's about helping people, tech community, bringing people together. You don't get paid for that, so find your purpose and be persistent enough. Um, I encourage everybody to find their balance by prioritizing what truly matters. And this is something that works for me. And I hope everybody gets to find what works for them. But also I encourage everybody to also volunteer. If you are working full-time, part-time or freelance, give a time. You can take two hours um, a week or three hours and just support a community. Especially upcoming people, women specifically, it's important that we support communities like that because at the end of the day, a lot of people look out, look up to us, and it's up to us to to help one another. You help um, communities and you help yourself because at the end of the day, you will see you have growth personally or professionally in your career. And I thank you all of you for joining this session. And Jerry Jeff, it's um, also thank you in my mother tongue, Wolof. So thank you so much. And I hope you learn one or two things. and impacts you one way or the other. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for the session, Haji. I think that was really needed because most of us are here as full-time professionals or students trying to balance our lives together around the clock. And I hope this session helped you. Thank you.